All right, so I just flushed the boiler. Figured why not stop by to do a little shoveling at mom's house, clean the sight glass up over there. Now I'm going to refill the boiler. I do that water here, you hear that stuff popping, crackling? It's all the sediment of a 20 plus year old water heater. Maybe 30, I don't even know. What's the year on this thing? Um, 92? I know this thing's been here forever. It can't be from 92, is it? I forget. 1996. Mm. Still putting water in. I don't know who's putting their stuff there. Make sure the valves are open. There we go. We're starting to fill. Okay. I gotta change the backflow. This shouldn't take so long. But I have no clue. This thing's friggin' old. It's gonna give one day. I'll have to replace it. One day. 150. yellow in the spell. So my mom's complaining upstairs. One of the vents is working. So it's nice I'm here to do a little shoveling real quick before I go home, even though I want to go snowboarding. But I think I on a live video I put on YouTube before I mentioned how life kind of sucks and well we find ourselves taking care of responsibilities more than we really wish we were. Seeing a drip, but everything, that's... It looks dry. Could just be some drip from when I took it all apart. I had the whole side of the boiler wet. Oh, something's leaking. It will show itself. And then I could break out. Where's my crappy wrench I left here? This is always here. This is my rusty, crappy Japanese wrench. Thank you, Japan. But hey, I don't use it for anything except for right here. And am I seeing my uh, drain valve leak? I might have hit that. Yeah. Boom. That hurt my knee, that hurt my knee. My knees. They do hurt after all these years sometimes, but you know what? I love what I do. I have fun with it. Just wipe this up. Make sure I'm not replacing that because this isn't a new valve over here. This valve used to be there. And then I when I set that up. I moved that down there. So, just because I did spill water on everything before. I had water dripping over the handles. I flushed it out here. I go above and beyond too much. I miss residential work until days like yesterday when I get a crazy lady yelling and screaming at me. WD on that because these rust I just drip dry. Alright, so I'm here because 
I should probably throw some of this junk away. It's a customer's house they care. That's the old water heater drain from I don't even know how many years ago. There is the bushing that had that valve attached to it. The old boiler valve. It's all scrap though, so I'll get rid of it soon. Okay, so the boiler's starting to heat. Hey, I got a good front. Look at that. That's good. Garbage. Garbage. Anything that goes right in the garbage. Garbage. Put in the homeowner's garbage right away. Anything you don't want to rust and tarnish it. Spray with some WD. So this way, it's not a complete pile of dog turd next time you come. And leave it on a ladder. My little propane tank I should take with me. Keep that in case I ever need it. My Don Fuss 6 in 1 always hangs out here waiting for me. In case I need to adjust something real fast, I don't have the tools on me. And my can of giant, my giant can of WD that's almost empty. You can hang out here. Everybody's like, oh my goodness, you use too much WD. Yeah, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. So, I mean, it is a snow day today. And no work. So, I decided, you know what? Let me play with my mom's boiler. Because I just don't know what to do with myself if I'm not working. I can't work on my cars, which stinks because, well, can't work on cars in the snow unless I had a garage. Got to get me a garage. The Haxta needs a garage. Going to get one. Going to get one really soon. But, I mean, right now, there's not going to be heat anywhere. So, we can swap out that valve. And, well, this is fun because I love working for free I'm a workaholic what could I say huh. all my brother's old books medical books and stuff like that from when he went to medical school my daughter's taking over the room her toys and then we have this all right this valve right here is plugged supposedly according to my mom but here's the fun part this valve move. back here cool. oh, this is gonna be in my way I, I could just see it just Spins, but the hand, the stem doesn't spin. Problem is, is this right here. It is broken. just busted off so it can't grip there used to be a plastic molded square thing here that would fit on a that right there Let me give you guys a little light but so that right there so now what I got to do is let the boiler heat up all right so I'm not understanding. I was gonna close that valve, but I mean, this radiator is getting hot. It's hot to about here. I don't know. Maybe I rattled it when I, because before when I got here, I did turn that before I ran outside to get something. But it's old and cruddy. Disclaimer, do not do what I am about to do because I am a paid asshole.
Well, not really. <laughs> I am vol I'm a volunteering asshole. That's right. I am volunteering for this. So it's definitely hissing. It's not gunked up or anything. So if I take this off, well, the chances are very good. I'll get burnt. So. This valve has to become closed. It's missing arm I wonder if I can buy but this air vent definitely works you can hear it hissing and the whole radiator is hot see if I didn't let the boiler get as much pressure I would have just spun that off but I let a little too much pressure build I know everybody cries to use WD-40. Well, you know what? This has been in my truck too. I'm on an experiment. I'm always looking for what, which one I want to use. Cause I don't like any one. It doesn't. None of them actually, to me, seem like any one is better than the other. I'm finding they're all the same. Like in that last video that I had to torch out. My bolt, well, just is what it is. I mean, what are you gonna do? Okay. A little one. And that is why you close it out. First. I'm thinking it out as a check. That's right. Now so you gotta be careful with steam. Still got turned, so I'm not in all the way. When I go in all the way, this thing will stop. Pulling it down. Okay. Now it's all the way. Closed. So now that we're done with that fun adventure. What's next on the list of things to do? That's right! We're gonna put a new little valve on there. Always get one interrupted by a phone call. But always get one that's adjustable. So this way you can control if you want a lot or a little bit of heat to come out of it. It even says on top, open closed. Because if you have an area that gets too hot, you wanna almost close it down. So you only let a little bit of the air out. And if you got an area that doesn't get hot enough, you want it opened all the way. If it's opened all the way, it lets more air out, and the air can, the air can be displaced by steam. You're going to have to put some sealant on here. You guys can do whatever you want with your sealant, forward, backwards, however you want to wrap it, as long as it stays on. 
I believe it seals. I know guys are telling me it doesn't. It's only there for looks. But I actually believe it seals. Unlike, not, not looks, but lubrication. I'm just messing around. But, okay, there we go. Right now, it is open all the way. Now, now I gotta open this guy back up. I shredded him. Look at all those little pieces of brass everywhere. Yeah, he needs a little spray, a little dibble dabble. Always does everybody good. He's happy now. He got a bath. Now we gotta go to the left. We gotta open him back up. As we start opening them up, the valve opens up. Because the valve hasn't gotten warm enough to close. I do have to replace this, but that's gonna be one of those projects that I get back to one day, which means maybe never until the next air vent fails. And even then, I might just do the same thing I mean, this one's not bad. Sometimes you take these off, the unions, and the radiator sinks. I'll try and do this without holding this. But... See all that heat, I love being on top of a hot radiator working. But I love boilers, I gotta say. Forced air. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys like your forced air systems and your heat pump systems and whatever else. Not me. That's why I'm in this area. I mean, I can go to somewhere like Miami, Florida, where it's warm and I'm doing AC work all year. Just doesn't seem fun. Ugh. I love it. It's got nothing to hold itself on because a little square fell off. Put that back on. But even then, it's all broken off of here. But it's a decoration. If the house ever sells, I don't have to. There, nobody's going to know it's broken. <laughs> That's such a douchebag thing. Typical hacker, asshole. I am, yes, I know. It's broken, but. Oh. There you go. Now, this thing is steaming hot. Steaming hot. I wish I had an infrared, like a thermal imager. I'm gonna go halfway with it. Under that's why my mom freaked out because I had this one on slow because this bedroom's not used. Well, not slow, but I had it in the middle. Yeah, I got some water in it. Shake the water out. Somebody's gonna yell at me for spilling this water. I get yelled at for spilling water in every video. I feel like. You're so inconsiderate. You spill. Nobody else I see ever spills any water. You spill water in every friggin' video. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, I'm numb to spilling water. It's part of, it's like a part of what I do. I'm gonna make a mess and I'm gonna make the heat work at the same time. Well, there you go. Replacing one of these little things. I don't even know why. Cause this one seemed to be working but my mom was complaining saying it wasn't so you know what the things we do for mom but i could have when i got here i did move the top a little bit before i went down to the boiler to drain it and maybe that was enough to open this thing back up because the bronx is burning good book 
the book. What else was my brother read? Physics! I should take this home. I should actually read it. What else is my brother? The Law of People. Medita meditations. Political writing. Prepared Peace and other essays. Hard, hard Judicial, whatever. The Systems. I mean, he... He's a doctor, so I mean, he studied all this crap, autonomy, Steadman's, whatever, histology, I'm not even sure what that is, that might be history, complete manual of things that might kill you, uh, what a waste of time reading that one, who wants to know if they're going to die and what's going to kill them, just got to live, eh. Well, I'm out. Another fun adventure.